let us know see about the project architecture so that you can understand what exactly we are going to work in this course so our project will be on performing the data analysis on unemployment data set so we'll understand the trends of the unemployment in the states like california new york new jersey and some other states so this is just a randomly generated data set so we will have this populated in unemployment.csv file here we are making this csv file directly available in our raw container in the azure data lake storage in real time you have to get the data from any external source by using the pipelines if you are looking for some ways where we can ingest this you can also achieve that using adf pipelines too i have a course on azure data factory where you can refer that for getting the data and transformations but for this course we'll be concentrating more on the components of azure synapse analytics and its working rather than seeing the what ways we can ingest the data so here we are making this unemployment data or csv in azure data lake storage in the raw container now we are going to use the serverless sql pool for performing the initial data exploration like data cleaning getting only select two columns etc by understanding the concepts in the serverless sql pool we will be doing this initial data exploration once we are done with the initial data exploration and initial cleaning we will be sending the data to the refined container in azure data lake storage once we have the data that have some initial cleaning we will be having that in the refined container now it's time to perform the most commonly used transformations using the spark pool we'll be using the pyspark language for this we are going to cover most concepts on pyspark that helps you to become a good data engineer if you are not sure on spark that's totally fine because i'll make sure to get you on track on the spark where i will also have a separate section for understanding emergence of spark and its core concepts once we are done performing the transformations on data we are going to send the data to a processed container where we'll be having the completely clean data after performing 11 set of transformations where we have diversified into different sections here as we are having the completely clean data we can use this for business reporting so we will also see some terminologies like bronze silver and gold for the raw refined and processed containers respectively so we can use either of the terminologies like we want for this i named this as raw refined and processed containers now the last component would be the dedicated sql pool where we will store the data that is been completely cleaned in the processed container in this we are not going to see in depth about a dedicated sql pool because we required an entirely different course for the dedicated sql pool so here we will not be performing any further more transformations in the dedicated sql pool where we are storing this to report that to the power bi so this is the end to end architecture of our project where we will learn all the concepts of issue synapse analytics like serverless sql pool spark pool and the dedicated sql pool but our main focus for this project will be on spark pool and its transformations so you can gain knowledge on one of the most demanding technology at the moment which is spy spark along with azure synapse analytics and let's also categorize this project architecture here if you are seeing the serverless sql pool helps us in the ingestion phase where we'll be doing some initial data exploration and we'll be using the spark for transformation purpose where we are performing the major transformations using spy spark and then the dedicated sql pool will be used for loading purpose now along with completing this project we will not limit ourselves for doing only the project we will also understand some more things so here along with the hands on project that we are going to perform we will also see about spark performance tuning which is nothing but spark optimization so we have an entirely different section to perform this as in this course we will be understanding the basic pi spark transformations i'll also included this spark optimization techniques so you can make an efficient code to solve the real world problems also along with the spark optimizations we will also see about 
delta lake so we will create the delta lake and we will understand all the features of the delta lake and how you can implement the lake house architecture using this delta lake and we will see its features practically by implementing that in azure synapse analytics so on a high level this is our project architecture and we'll also be seeing about this parked optimization techniques and delta lake